welcome back to the Christmas shit show. Yes, everybody is seems to be in the holiday spirit. Now our favorite cringe watch, Amber Lynn Ree, is going on what looks to be a vlogmas promise. You know, Amber is not good with keeping up. If you remember the hundred days of uploading, what did she quit on like day like legit 99 or something like that? And now she's dedicated herself to Vlogmas, which is, I think, every day in December up until Christmas. Um, don't quote me because I've never done it before. So, that is what we're going to watch. This is day two. I missed day one. I might go back and react to it. I'm not sure. But I thought since she put this video out today that we would go ahead and react to her new Vlogmas day two video. So, let's get into that, y'all. Okay, now it looks like she has started this video out straight with a warning, which is kind of unusual for Amber. I don't know of her ever doing this before. I wonder where she got that idea from. This video is not intended for kids 13 and younger. So anyone out there watching this reaction under the age of 13, please turn away. Now is not your time. Who did the who did the intro? I didn't even know that was an intro. Who's responsible for this? Give us the details. Hey guys, so welcome to Vlogmas Day 2. That means today is December 1st. You guys will be seeing this December 2nd, which I'm sure you guys understand. <laughs> I know some people vlog on December 1st and then upload it December 2nd and that's the first vlogmas. I don't I don't understand that. But everyone does it differently. That's okay. So what we have on my lips today is Milani, which is actually a lip plumper, but my lips are so small that it's just not working. I do feel it. This is in 13 Rosewood. I does she get a lot of requests for what kind of lipstick that she's wearing? Because I noticed her and Chantel both do this. Is this like a thing that vloggers or YouTubers do is answer before the video even gets started is what lipstick are you wearing? It's kind of stupid. A lot of people ask usually what's on my lips. I prefer matte, but I wanted to try something different. This is definitely not matte at all in the slightest, but... We're just going to go with it, go with the flow here. So I'm mad at myself. Um, as you guys know, I'm sick and DayQuil and NightQuil really work for me, but I forgot to take NightQuil last night. So I woke up feeling like an actual, like, try. Is it just me? Like, does that stuff really work, y'all? Like, I think it does maybe the minimum effect that it could do, but it's nothing like going to the doctor and getting them to give you like a, sh a shot of what is it the vitamin c that they pump you up with to get rid of a cold or an antibiotic or something like that all that over-the-counter crap is just i think that crap I, I, maybe some of the cough medicines and things work but this is not what's going to cure your illness is night quill day quill i think that stuff is just junk get you some vitamin c girl the whole food kind. They got them on. They got them on the good old Amazon. Get you some fish oil pills, not the ones from the Walmart. Like you need the whole food uh, kind of vitamins. That stuff works. I take that throughout the year, and I knock on wood, y'all. I hardly ever get sick. I recommend that to anybody. Ash can what? So I'm about to take my day cool right now, and I hope to feel better. Um, I'm gonna wash my hands a lot because I'm about to go in public. So precaution, I don't, I hate thinking that I'm going to get someone else sick. Like, I don't know. Is it just me? Probably not. So then don't go out in public, Amber, if you're worried about getting somebody else sick. Like, do you have to go out right now? It's not like you have to go to a job. Why do you need to go out in public if you're worried about getting people sick or j just to avoid getting people sick in general? We're actually about to go get some sushi or I'm going to get some sushi. We're going to go hang out with some friends and then I have to do a little bit of grocery shopping mm. because I have no more fresh broccoli which you guys remember in my vlog yesterday. She is the only person I know that worries about actually getting food while they're sick. Like you can't, if when you have a cold and you're all stuffed up, you all know you can't taste the shit anyway. So you're like, it doesn't matter. Most people are drinking broth or soup or whatever, or just taking that time to fast and not eat, eating at all. But she's going out for sushi and going to go see your friends. And so you don't care about getting, when she says friends, we all know she means Dana and Destiny. So I guess she's not concerned. She's probably going to go over there and cough on Dana purposely. Steamed fresh broccoli. 
and now I can't get enough. I know it's so stupid, but it just adds so much volume to your meals and stuff like that. So I'm rambling. Because um, we know you need volume to those meals, girl. I guess I'll catch up with you guys here in a little bit. Super windy out there. My hair is already super frizzy, so this same. Is, um, these aren't good ingredients to go together at all. Okay, I'm actually kind of shocked. It is not that cold out today. <laughs> I expected it to be cold because yesterday it was like freezing. So I was actually, oh my God, is that a little baby spider? Nope, nope, sis ain't doing it today. So we just got to the restaurant and it's so windy outside that our car kept doing like this situation where like it was going off the road. It was actually kind of creepy. Um, I thought because, you know, my weight is in the car, I thought that wouldn't happen, but it's happening and it's kind of like freaking me out because, <laughs> but it's kind of like freaking me out. I just hope like, you know, we're safe on the way home. Amber's been in Kentucky for how long? Does she not know how the weather there works yet? I mean, she acts like every season it's brand new to her. Okay, you guys, I spoke way too soon. It's now frigid outside. I should probably just start carrying around a jacket or like leave it in the car or something my fault don't come for me but I was like having a Marilyn Monroe moment because my dress is kind of like super loose and it's like light feeling and it's so windy it was like coming like up my skin didn't show because like I stopped it from happening but could you imagine that picture? Like Amber's out there in her little dress trying to keep it from blowing up. Oh my it was, God. Uh, I wonder if she wears underwear. She just goes commando. Mm, mm, kind of scary. But we're about to go to the grocery store. Like I said, I need some things. And when I was having my sushi, the guy actually wrote California on the side with that sauce, which I was trying to show you in my little clip. It's amazing. Look at that artwork right there. It's amazing. I hope you guys could have could have seen that um, in person. It looked a lot better in person than it did in the little tiny clip, but yeah, it was pretty cool. So my most favorite makeup wipes in the world, these. I agree, I love those, I get the same ones. Neutrogena Makeup Remover Cleansing Palettes. These actually do not break me out. They actually make my skin feel super, super soft. Hot cocoa and chill, look how cute that is also really like that one they must be at kroger i'm gonna have to go down there and check out their coffee cups because i'm a sucker for cute coffee cups in the winter time that one's really cute too leftovers are for quitters <laughs> definitely for you you definitely should buy that one that's hilarious oh holy night oh my god these are adorable but this one has to be my favorite for sure Hello? What are you guys doing in my fridge? You're not funny, Amber. That was totally not funny. What? No. The grocery haul happens outside of the fridge. Okay, that was cringy. Cringe Lynn! Okay. Cringe Lynn. <laughs> Let's do a grocery haul. Get this going. We'll see if I can actually succeed. We got some chicken. I needed more turkey sausage patties. I needed some ground turkey. This is the 93% lean, 7% fat. I got a few of these. They're the orange chicken. Orange, orange chicken, chicken Lynn. <laughs> I promise I'll stop doing that, but y'all got me. <sighs> it's a habit. Um, so I love the orange chicken from Cheesecake Factory, but also love it lean cuisine form. Mm. Really good. And then I got a couple of the lean cuisine meatball and mashed potatoes. 
those are my two favorite Lean Cuisines, if you guys are curious. Got some potatoes, and I got chicken broth, because I'm going to be making a soup. Or so is she on a diet or not? I'm confused. I think she is, according to this food haul that she's got. Everything but the potatoes. I mean, yeah, of course, the TV dinners are trash. Are we believing that she only eats one of those at a time, or is she saying she, like, doubles up or triples up on those? Trying to. I haven't made one in so long that I don't even know if I know how anymore. We got spinach, makeup wipes, English muffins, which I'm going to start having those for breakfast. I'm going to create a little English muffin moment. She said moment. I was waiting for her to say situation. You disappointed me there, Amber. I hate filming right here because the lighting darkens my dark my dark circles like even worse don't like it i got a couple of these steam fresh it's just brown rice i mean it's literally just brown rice <laughs> like there's no i'm actually surprised she hasn't started filming her videos like with the snapchat filter on and just like doing her whole vlog with that filter but i guess she couldn't record as good but give it some time they're gonna come up with how you can use a filter throughout a video and then we're really gonna, never gonna know what anybody looks like added ingredients in this <sighs> brown rice and water got some sliced water chestnuts i'm gonna try to make some who knows what <laughs> I also got some General So's stir fry sauce. We'll see how that turns out, cause I have no idea. And I also got baby corn on the cob for the stir fry. <laughs> I'm nervous, let's cross our fingers. Had another dishes date after I filmed this. Oh, had, I guess she had to wash dishes after this. There must be a lot of dishes back in the back. Okay, I'll see them. And of course, the fresh broccoli. I get them like this because it's already cleaned. I just cut off the... Why would you need to get broccoli already cleaned and packaged like that? For one, it's, this is just, you're just paying for the packaging and for them to wa literally probably just wash, rinse off your vegetable. I don't understand that. And it's just a waste of material, styrofoam and more plastic stem part because Stupid. I don't like the texture of it and I got some baby cucumbers and that's all I got um definitely got some broccoli I I'm sorry but Becky seems like the type to eat spaghetti I was right out of the can right. like that's all she would request at the store that and probably what is it called what are these the beanie weenies yeah she seems like a beanie weenie type of girl and <clears throat> got a few cut green beans cans of those so i'm gonna put away this mess i have made a mess right. and i was throwing these on the ground <laughs> so amber by now i cannot believe that you have not bought the recyclable bags that you can use instead of wasting all that plastic when you go to the grocery store why don't you buy those reusable grocery bags I'll catch up with you guys in a minute. So I just put away the groceries and I've been like really bad on water today, especially because I had sushi and I use a lot of soy sauce. Are we still doing, what is it, the high pH water that helps you not get heartburn? Are you still drinking that crap? Okay, not a lot, but definitely enough to where I feel like I've had a little more sodium than usual today. I do sodium. It's the low sodium soy sauce, but... Is there such thing as low sodium soy sauce? Like, I can't even imagine. That's all soy sauce is, I think, is salt. Nope, that's not the high pH or low pH or whatever it is. That's just a regular bottled water. Shocking. <sighs> Rarity, you're not supposed to be on the table. I swear to God. <sighs> Baby girl. Come here, lovable. <laughs> She's like, no, you don't. Brittle. Mama love you and all, but you can't be on the table. I go like this. <laughs> she's like, Bleh. now she's playing with the lid to my bottle. Baby girl. <laughs> Twinkie. <laughs> Comment of the day. Favorite part. Okay. 
Becky was excited about doing a craft. I've never seen Becky even close to excited about anything. Her emotion level is flat. We have been getting a lot of comments about how Becky has been acting and looking in my vlogs. And I just want you guys to know that there's something wrong with Becky, guys. And I want you to know that something's wrong, but I just don't feel like we're ready to share that with you. But just know that something is wrong with Bexter. She might be sharing kind of what's going on. Again, it's her choice. Uh, there has been a lot of speculation. Oh, is Amber going to use that as clickbait in one of her videos? Becky, now's your time to shine and bring in Amber those bucks as to what's going on with Becky and it's just not fair that these rumors are happening because people will start assuming them. Becky shouldn't have to share what's going on with her. But if you don't want people to speculate on what's going on with Becky, then you would have been better off not even telling everybody that there was a problem with Becky. I wouldn't say that they were rumors. What they are is speculation because you put out that something's wrong. So, of course, people are going to wonder and make, make guesses about what's wrong with her. That's your fault. I know you guys can see a very big difference in her versus how she used to act. So, I can understand why so many people are so confused with what's going on but yeah maybe they're concerned she was excited to do the craft it's great seeing her moving more and eating better i hope it continues i hope it does too right now i am wanting all the junk candy hot cheetos oh my god i haven't had candy in so long it just sounds amazing and hot cheetos the spiciness and the crunch okay i'm gonna stop talking about it before i go crazy Oh I, have a, I bet she went and got some after this video. Your taste bud, I guess. The f So, <laughs> yeah. Um, I think I just have different taste buds. That's just like how it is. A lot of people look at my food, like, in the, and then in the comments, they say, like, mean things about it. But my food tastes good. Everyone who's ever tried things that I've made has really liked it. Um, people in the comments just make me feel like I make gross food. <laughs> So I'm actually getting a lot of the fish was kind of gross, Amber. Nice comments on here. Here's another. Love seeing you happy up and doing things. Dressed up with your hair and makeup done. You look better than ever rooting for you. I appreciate that. I have to agree with this for the most part. It is good seeing Amber up and taking care of herself. It looks like for the most part. I can't say anything negative about that. And getting out, but going out to eat, nah, I don't know. But at least she's getting out of the house. There was a time where we were seeing her and it didn't look like she was even washing her damn hair. So much. I really, really do. I love seeing comments like this. Like, it just makes me smile. But I know comment of the day is meant to be, you know, for me to maybe clarify things and I know a lot of people don't like them if it's just a bunch of sweet things, which for me, I prefer it. So I just wanted to let you guys know that I have been skipping over a bunch of comments because I know you guys probably wouldn't want to sit here through all the nice comments. But <laughs> because there's so many guys, I have been reading every single one and I appreciate them so much. I love baked potatoes with just salsa. What you made looks so much better. That makes me really happy, and I promise you, it was so delicious. I don't think I've ever had a baked potato with salsa on it. Delicious. I loved baked potatoes with salsa as well, and I was trying to find a different way to also get in veggies and protein, and honestly, it was delicious. Well, how did you do that? Is there protein in salsa? Because I know there ain't none in no baked potato. If she was losing weight, you'd think she'd weigh in <clears throat> as an F you to the haters. Um, I have thought about it. I have thought about this several times, trust me on that one, but it's trust her guys. Just, it's not worth it to me. I have set a goal for myself and I want to achieve that before I do a weigh in video because it's important to me and it's not always about proving people wrong or proving people right. Okay, you guys, so this is the last one. Every single one that I've just went through and I've gone through like 20 has been super sweet. This one says, loving this vlog. I'm here for her new outlook. Thank you so much, mom on a dime. I appreciate that so much. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my actual video and I'm going to read the first top comment, which is the most liked comment. I think that's how it works. Okay, so here we are. Let's see it. Okay. She wears her new dresses, does her makeup, cooks healthier dishes, 
our girls improving. Wow. Like, she didn't already know that. Okay, look, I agree with that. The girl is doing better, it seems like. But, like, you didn't know this comment wasn't already there, girl. You knew it was. You knew it was. That's why you went and read it. This ain't just off the top of your head. You knew that comment was there. But, I, I so far, I mean, I can't argue with it. But, I, I mean, I don't know if, like, if the weight loss is, you know, I can't tell yet. But, hopefully, I mean, you know, we just got to hope for the best, y'all. We just got to hope for the best. <clears throat> I was expecting something like rude to be the first word, honestly. Lies, girl. You just a lie. You just a lie. Stop lying. Because that's been my reality for so long. Even the second one, keep this attitude. Don't go back to old Amber. Oh my God. When she said she was crying because she could walk for nine minutes. Good job, Amber. And honestly, <laughs> sorry, I'm so crying. <laughs> it honestly oh makes me happy. She seems so much more likable. I'm confused. Well, congratulations if you're, you know, on all your improvements, Amber. It is it is Christmas, y'all. It is December. Don't come for me. I'm confused. Um, I just don't even know, like, where all this positivity is coming from. Like, I, I don't, like, I wasn't expecting it, to be honest. I look like a freaking hot mess. I wasn't going to show myself. I usually end with comment of the day, and I look like an absolute insane person um i i appreciate your guys' comments so much and i really do want to do a weigh-in but it's like i told myself like i i want to be down a certain amount of weight because i want to show people that i'm serious and not just like weigh in and be like oh da, 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 da. you guys know how i've been in the past you know I gain and lose the same, same 10 pounds and I don't want to be doing that anymore because that's not going to save my life. That's not going to help with my health. And it's like, I have a very, very ugh, pillow mountain. I know a lot of people are going to say stuff about that, but it's whatever at this point. I have been thinking a lot of just like, I'm afraid to fail. Like I am so afraid of failing and I have done my fair share of crying as of late because I no longer turn to food when I'm feeling such strong emotions. I am turning to actual tears and feeling my emotions instead of turning to food. And I've, I've been going at it for, I don't know, it's been about a month now. And it's just like, I didn't talk about it for the first couple of weeks because I did not want to trigger myself because sharing my weight loss on YouTube has never turned out good. But it's like now that I've been doing this for a month and I just feel so much better and in the right mind frame. Although yes, some hot Cheetos sound bomb, but I'm not going to do it. Um, now that I'm in the better mind frame, it's like I do want to talk about it, but I also don't want to talk about it too much. I don't want to overshare. But in, in the last couple of videos that I've watched, it's kind of like she's, that is what she's talking about, is not talking about it. And so in, in the same sense, you are talking about it, Amber. So you might as well just actually talk about it. You know what I mean? But it's like, I also want to share my journey for the- But I get what she's saying. She's saying that she's done so many, I guess, diet failures on YouTube. And that's been like the roller coaster that we've all been on for how many ever years now? So I guess what she wants to do is like lose a significant amount of weight. I'm thinking maybe 50 pounds would be, you know, a, a, a goal that she would want to, an easy goal that she could accomplish within like a month or so and then come on here and be like, this is, look y'all, now I'm serious. Look at this, you know, look at me weighing in. I'm 50 pounds less. So I want y'all to take me more serious now. Unless she's just fooling us all. I don't know. I can't, I can't tell the girl. I don't know. I, I mean, I hope she, you hope people wouldn't get on here and just bullshit, but I don't know. I mean, it seems like she, uh, maybe with Becky having her health problems and everything, maybe she is trying to stick to something. Who knows? People who have been following me and who have been wanting me to succeed. And it's like, I want to be an inspiration to people. It's, it's more about like just wanting to, for you to live, Amber. You're so young and to see you 
on the verge of death like we've seen you with your knuckles change color with bags under your eyes like it looks like legit that you could just fall over dead in any day I don't think anybody here no matter how they feel about you they're gonna wake up and then you you are gonna be just gone you know what I mean I think everybody would like to see you actually pull it off and just all these sweet comments this is like <laughs> why I have such a big fear of failing because sometimes no matter how hard you try and no matter how hard you do, you can 100% relapse when you're a food addict. And I have done my fair share of binging in my life, you know? It's, it's just scary when you're doing so well, but you're used to doing so bad. It's scary, but it's also very exciting. And it, it does make me really emotional. Don't cry. And Jesus. I have cried a lot recently because of it like these little things where it's like I do weigh myself every day it's a bad habit and it's like seeing the scale go in the right direction like I'm not saying I'm down like this huge amount like I'm not down like 100 pounds obviously like hi <laughs> you guys would notice but it's like seeing the scale move in the right direction has been just amazing for me and it feels good because it's like I'm finally doing this I'm going to I'm going to stop rambling. I'm going to stop ranting about this and talking about this, but I just want to let you guys know like thank you that I'm not going to talk about it anymore. <laughs> so much for your guys' sweet comments <clears throat> like I'm just not used to it and I guess I'm just like overwhelmed with like joy and stuff. Like I just feel really grateful and it's like I just appreciate it a lot. I really do. So moving on, I do hope you guys enjoyed the stay of vlogmas. Um, Vlogmas is boring, but I'm gonna vlog. I'm gonna be a Vlogmas Lynn, cause you know. Oh <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. No outro, cheap ass. Okay, guys. So it looks like we are going to get a clickbait video from Becky on what her actual diagnosis is, since everyone is spreading rumors, speculating, of course, because that's what people do, about what is actually wrong with her. We'll probably get that in the next couple of days. Amber swears that she's losing weight. I hope she is. She seems happier, but it's good that I mean, I guess she's trying again. I don't know. We shall see, people. We shall see what's in future for our girl. Let me know what you thought in the comments and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.